Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net, and it is Wednesday the 18th of June. Thanks again for watching. And the Japanese Met Agency have just released their updated three-month forecast. So, taking us uh, through July, August, and into September. So, just wanted to show you this and uh, what they're up to. This is the forecast 500 ml bar flow for the whole of July, and um, makes interesting viewing because... What it's doing is putting a ridge over the western part of the states, brings a trough down across the eastern states, look, builds the ridge in the Atlantic, but then has this quite deep trough feature across the UK. So it's showing us with uh, a trough which would lead to uh, more unsettled conditions. And I think it's it's kind of building on this idea of a, of a July of two halves, really, where the beginning of the month is... Uh, more settled, not saying completely settled, but more settled than the end of the month, that second half of the month, goes into a more unsettled spell. But that's quite a deep trough to be um, across the UK and Ireland at this time of year. Interestingly, uh, the axis of the trough is out towards the west, so that would indicate that it's probably more western areas uh, that are likely to see the... Um, uh, most of any precipitation, but uh, also eastern and southern areas are still under the influence of those lower heights too. What's interesting is if we look at the uh, CFS for July, um, just look what happens here. This is now the 700 millibar flow from the CFS, and uh, look, you can see it too has a ridge across the uh, western states, and it has trough across the west of the UK with this ridge out towards the east so it's also indicating this idea still of the Scandinavian high uh, being in place but that trough over the UK and particularly out towards the west. August looking like this according to the JMA look it strengthens the trough to the west builds the ridge across many central and eastern parts of the country so it's indicating plenty of dry and warm weather in there through August but with that southerly flow bringing warm winds but this trough never particularly far out towards the uh, west and I think what we would be looking for there is for that trough at times section to the trough to be pulling eastwards bringing thundery outbreaks of rain and showers and pretty heavy thundery outbreaks of rain and showers as well and uh, it could be torrential in places so we've got that that idea there of pressure being above normal probably on that southerly flow warm conditions and to some extent, the um, CFS does back it up. It does see the trough of sorts out towards the uh, west. Let me just try and zoom in on that for you. There we go. Uh, it does see the trough of sorts look out towards the west here. It doesn't see it anywhere near as strong. Certainly makes far more of a ridge in the Atlantic. And also there's a um, ridge across the uh, eastern parts uh, of Scandinavia. So it still sees it there. So there is some comparison there between the two. I think what we have to watch for on the CFS is the trough here coming through, making more of the thundery showers and rain. But I think August, according to these, shaping up as a warm month. And then September, um, it shows um, really a big, big ridge, a big high uh, of heights centred look across the UK. It keeps a deep trough in the Atlantic with a ridge across the eastern state, so it's got that sort of flow associated with it and a trough there across eastern parts of Europe, a big omega high and um, of course experience shows if one of those does come in then uh, it takes quite a bit of time to move, so actually September there looking good. And that's been a consistent theme through these models over the last few months. But in contrast, CFS shows, yes, the ridge, the trough, the ridge setup, but actually it's all shifted a little bit further eastwards. So um, that would put the more unsettled conditions across the UK. So it's all on a knife edge at the moment. It's just dependent. I mean, there's good agreement between the models. It's just dependent on exactly where these features are going to be uh, settling in. I mean, we've been saying for a while September looked good, um, but it could go one way or the other with September. It could be good or it could be bad, uh, depending on the location of the trough or the ridge across the top of us. So uh, that's what I'm going to be watching at the moment. I'm leaning more into that idea of warmer um, close to, to drier than normal conditions through September. 
So three months, um, not looking over all too bad. I do think at end of uh, July, August probably uh, isn't going to be particularly fantastic. But then again, you know, it could be a lot, lot worse. Um, this is how the next few days shapes up. Uh, high pressure centred out towards the west today. Looks like that continues. Still there through tomorrow. Look, weak cold fronts moving their way southwards, bringing a little bit of cloud, perhaps one or two spots of rain. And that high still with us on Friday. Weak front just crossing through northern Scotland, bringing a little bit of cloud and drizzle here. One or two showers on eastern coasts, but dry for the most. And Saturday sees high pressure in once again, as does Sunday. Again, it's going to be eastern coastal areas that see the most of any cloud. Monday still looking like being the day with a bit of a change as uh, we see these fronts come southeastwards through the country bringing showers to northern and eastern Scotland, probably to the north and to the east of England and they may well pass westwards during the course of Monday afternoon. So a bit of a change on the way on Monday but generally still dominated by high pressure. And I'll leave you with that for now, but thanks for watching, and um, whatever you do, and have a great day. Don't forget, weatherweb.net is kept free of charge by you coming back and using the site, telling your friends about the site. It means that we can put more adverts in front of you, which means that it generates the revenue which keeps the site free of charge. So thank you for uh, watching weatherweb.net once again. Whatever you do, have a great day, and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.